Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you another fake captcha, but this time with a twist. I've got the link here, um, the domain is definitely not plausible, but you can probably tell where it is going already. Uh, and let's confirm the suspicions. First of all, we get a real captcha by Cloudflare. And you would think it's that beautiful fake Cloudflare CAPTCHA that I was looking for. However, you actually get redirected to a fake YouTube page. And let's see, before you continue to YouTube, click on this pretty plausible looking recaptcha. So, um, look at this, confirm you're not a bot. You can actually scroll and everything, it looks pretty fine to an untrained eye. So let's try clicking on the checkbox. Complete these verification steps. To confirm you're not a robot, please follow these steps. Press and hold the Windows key plus R. In the verification window, press Ctrl plus V to paste the copied data. Press Enter to complete the verification. Well, yeah. This is the classic fake CAPTCHA. These CAPTCHAs are pretty rare, because the ones I have visited weren't super well made. So let's see what it's asking us to execute. First of all, we get the PowerShell command, the PowerShell script. And that's what I expected in the last video when uh, it actually ran MSHTA. So the command is, it runs an HTA file, it invokes the web request to this website here, bookvrff.com, saves, saves it to the file, and then runs it via MSHTA. And the idea why it runs the command via MSHTA is because MSHTA is very vulnerable, and uh, there are a lot of holes, a lot of exploits you can employ to break out of the HTA box. So let's see. Let's see what that website has to offer. Let's copy the bookvrff.com. See what it has on the website. Oh, so first of all, we get this site has been reported as unsafe by Microsoft Defender Smart Screen. Um, yeah, it's already been uh, abuse reported. So let's um, continue to the unsafe side, and we get service unavailable. Interesting. But what happens if we actually run this command? Let's try that out. I'm gonna run the command prompt for that. Let's do that. I'm gonna run this as, a, as an admin. And then... Oh, I don't have clipboard history. Hell yeah. Let's paste that real quick. See what happens. Application tool. Then it executes a couple other PowerShell scripts. It seems like. Let's check the task manager. Writing web requests. It, it keeps downloading stuff. Um, there might be a couple indirections here. So once you see PowerShell scripts popping up and some application tool window, it is a bad sign. And the funniest part, I think, is that it's actually protected by Cloudflare and they have the real CAPTCHA at the beginning. Oh, wait, it doesn't work anymore, does it? Yeah, it just stopped working. Is that... Why is that? Interesting. Okay, so let's check out the HTA file in app data. The file it has downloaded from bookvrff.com. So we have to open app data. It saved itself into the R folder. And there is a file called z.hta. Let's open it with notepad and see what this is. So basically we have a VB script insert here. And it's basically a VBS file running on your computer. So what it does, okay, so the remote link here, you can already you can already see where this is going. It's downloading an exe file. Yes. It was blocked as unsafe, but let's keep it. 
Let's see what this file is. Can I please keep it? Virus detected. Cool. X worm. I want to see this file. Come on, man. Thank you. BDXNSMP. That's a randomly generated name. If I've ever seen one. Check out the properties. CX app. Stub.exe is the original file name. Um, cool. Let's see what else it does. Shortcut path. Start e.lnk. It puts itself into the startup folder. Let's see. Um, wait, what am I doing? I think it, there is a shell command for that. Let's try this. Shell startup. Excellent. So here's what we've got here. Um, that's where it dropped the link. Let's see what this link does. Start e dot link properties. Yeah, hold up. Um, properties. App data roaming data box lons dot exe. There's another exe file we have on our computer, and that's just from running MSHTA. By the way, that's uh really horrible. Um, so let's check out roaming data box. Okay, yeah, so lons.exe, we have it here. Um, oh, that's basically the same thing. Um, it just downloaded itself as lons. Um, let's see. They're turning off Windows Defender, adding exclusion paths, and doing everything to stop the anti-malware from working. And I think it worked, because I haven't seen anything from Windows Defender. Initialization complete, cool. Let's run it again. Oh, wait, delete app, what's that? Temporary folder tybd7.exe tybd7 It doesn't exist anymore, it was deleted uh, by that script. I have uh, an exe file that runs on every computer startup and it surely does nothing good. So this is what happens when you run an executable served to you by a fake YouTube capture. Don't fall victim to such a scam and thank you for watching. Take care. It's running in the background, cool. Lons.exe See, it's running. I have to end it first before deleting it. Yep. Thank you for watching and take care.